uniform. Your uniform is what makes you a professional. In this lesson, we'll look at the purpose of a uniform, as well as paying attention to the different parts of a uniform. Let's start with the purpose of a uniform. Your uniform is very important, both for those wearing it and those who will see you wearing it. It shows guests who you are and the establishment you represent. When a guest sees you wearing a uniform, they will instantly know that you work at your establishment. The next important thing about a uniform is that it creates a sense of teamwork and community. You wear the same uniform as your colleagues, which signifies that you also have the same goals as those colleagues to offer excellent service, thereby bringing you together as a team. Next, we're going to look at a uniform in detail, from the tips of your toes to the top of your head and everything in between. Let's go through all the different parts of your uniform. Number one, overall. Your uniform should always be clean, ironed and in a good condition with no damage. If the guest can see that you don't look after your uniform, there is no way that they'll believe that you will look after them. Number 2. Fit Ensure that your uniform fits well. A uniform that is too small will be and look very uncomfortable. If it's too big, it will look untidy and get in the way. Number 3. Name badges if you wear a name badge at your establishment, it should be straight, visible and clean. This way, guests can call you by your name, which will already make them feel more at home. Number 4. The shirt. If you wear a collared shirt as part of your uniform, it should be tucked in and the buttons should be buttoned and aligned with your belt buckle. Also remember that your collar must be turned down. And check the cuffs of your shirt. They can get dirty very quickly. Number 5. Pants and skirts. Your pants should be the correct length. They should only just rest on your shoes. If they are too long, it will look untidy and over time will get damaged at the back. And if your pants are too short, you will look silly. If you wear a skirt, it should be the correct length according to your establishment standard. Your belt buckle should be of a simple design and your belt should match your shoes. Remember to check your fly! Number 6. Socks Your socks should be fresh and clean and match the colour of your pants. Ladies wearing stockings should ensure that there are no holes, ladders or snags in them. Number 7. Shoes. Your shoes should be clean and polished, with laces tied and of a simple, understated design. You're not trying to outshine your guests on the fashion front. You want to look like a professional. Ladies should wear flat shoes or shoes with only a slight heel. Open-toed shoes shouldn't be worn because they can look untidy and leave your toes exposed, which can be dangerous. Number 8. Pockets If you have pockets on your uniform, don't stuff them full of things like tissues or your cell phone. Not only will it bulge and look unflattering, but your personal belongings should be locked away, not in your pockets. Number 9. The waistcoat or jacket If you wear a waistcoat or jacket, the bottom button is traditionally left unbuttoned. There is no practical reason for this, but there is a story behind it. King Edward VII of England apparently enjoyed the royal cuisine so much that all his waistcoats became too small. As a result, he had to keep the bottom button unbuttoned. But because no one wanted to insult him or draw attention to the fact that he was slightly fat, everyone else copied him. Today, the tradition remains. Wearing your waistcoat correctly will signal to your guests that you are a professional. Also ensure that the cinch strap, the strap at the back of the waistcoat, is adjusted correctly and not too tight. Number 10. Aprons. 
If you wear an apron, it should be clean and securely and neatly tied. Number 11. The tie. If you wear a tie as part of your uniform, make sure you know how to tie it correctly. Also ensure that the knot is centered beneath your collar and that the narrow end doesn't show. One way to tie a tie is like this. Let's take another look at that. When it's tied, the wide tip of your tie should reach your belt buckle or the waistband of your pants. Well done on working through all the parts of the uniform and remember to always wear your uniform with pride.